Miami-Dade County Mayor Daniela Levine-Cava is pleading with residents to get vaccinated as hospitalization rates climb. CBS 4's Bo Beth Yates is live with the state of COVID-19 in Miami-Dade. Bo Beth? Well, earlier today, thousands packed the line up right behind me to get a COVID vax test aside. But while the vaccination line remained virtually empty, and some say that may be an indication why the cases are increasing and hospitalizations are up. We're seeing that by the extraordinary expansion of hospitalization rates in the county. David Andrews, the vice chair of patient pathology in Jackson Health System, says he's seen a rise in COVID patients. Currently, Jackson has 238 COVID patients, 99 more than two weeks ago. 29 of them are in the ICU. And even though both the vaccinated and unvaccinated are getting the virus at the same rate, Andrews says it's the unvaccinated who are winding up in the hospital. The unvaccinated population, individuals are going to be much more susceptible to getting very sick becoming hospitalized and ultimately succumbing to this disease. Baptist Health is also seeing an increase in COVID patients, currently caring for 726 people with the virus across their hospitals. That's a 140% increase from two weeks ago. As of July 30th, Miami-Dade County had 542,000 COVID cases, a 19% increase from the week before. The surge has caused a slight increase in the vaccination rate statewide. Among them, tourist Delfina Bahar, who decided to get vaccinated while on vacation. Truly, my country, uh, people of our age are uh, not getting vaccinated now. And I know that here they are uh, vaccinating everyone, so... I decided to get vaccine here. And even those who are vaccinated say they're now taking precautions, like wearing masks. I want them to be protected. I want them to be safe. No matter what side of the fence you stand on as far as vaccines go, I'm, I just think about community and I think that just wearing a mask is the answer right now to keeping everyone safe as a community. Now, Jackson Healthcare Systems also tells us that they're close to reaching their ICU capacity, but they do have the ability to expand to other portions of the hospital. In Southwest Miami-Dade, Bo Beth Yates, CBS4 News. Bo Beth, thank you so much. Now